Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is the OG. This stands for Original Goat. Now, they are a scale manufacturing company. Check out the link below. Check out their website. Met up with these guys at Blade Show West. They were awesome and they were like, hey, we know you love the Hogue Deca. Obviously, these are the lightweights. Magna Cut, all the good stuff. Oh, yeah. So they were like, we got some scales coming out just for you guys. I think you're going to love it. And I was like, let's do this. So they sent out these beautiful scales. Got a little OG sticker, a little swag for it. I like that. Little OG patch as well. We'll throw that on the patch wall. But you guys, I have to show you these beautiful aluminum scales. Now I will say they have many, many different mill options, finish options for coloring. These are super, super lightweight. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna get a scale real quick. We're gonna get a weight on these scales so we know what those scales are alone. And we're gonna also weigh this Hogue Deca, because we're gonna put the black one on it. I think it'll look sweet. So look at these, look at these scales. This is their expanded finish and not finished in any fashion or coated. So it's just called In the Buff. Oof, okay. So these scales together, 1.19 ounces. So we'll weigh this one ahead of time. 2.09 ounces so it might add about an ounce but we'll see because we don't know how much those plastic ones so again 2.09 okay i'm excited so we got our tourist driver but let's take a look at these really quick you can see the milling on the inside for the scales the liners a little weight reduction in here little og logo right there I like that. Pretty groovy. Pretty groovy. Okay. So we'll go back, get our focus dialed back in here, and let's put these together. Now, you did, you did see they just have the pocket clip for the right-handed side only. So we will go ahead and get to work on these. The Hogue Deca, awesome knife. These are made for the version 2. So if you have the version 2 in G, uh, the G10, the G Mascus, or in this lightweight, you can switch these out. So let's go ahead, let's see, we can switch out this one pretty easy because the pivot uh, is on this side. So let's do this one first and we'll get a quick look at them. And I want you guys to tell me what you think. Now you guys know me, I love the Deca. It's an awesome knife and of course, coming out in the Magna Cut, it's terrific. These are all Torx T8 size, including the pivot, which I really like that Hogue does that. So it's pretty cool. Knife itself, you know, Alan Elishowitz design. Um, so we got all the screws off on this side. We have the pivot out just on the one side. We're going to switch this one first. And then this should pop right off. Now, the nice part about doing one side at a time, you leave on a little thread hanging out. But you leave on your barrel spacers and they're tight on the other side. So we'll do this carefully because you don't want to obviously get the blade. But we'll pop this up just a little bit just to get it loose. Safety first, you know, if you're not comfortable, you can always go and tape the blade up. So you get these scales off. Oof, I still love that flat, flat dark earth. And I saw they have a double milled version of these scales. Oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. I might have to order those. So huge shout out to Original Goat for sending these out. So we will line these all up. Now let's see here. We'll get this lined up in here. We'll get all these barrel spacers lined up. And I apologize, I'm not 100% on with the camera. So I'm trying to make sure that we get all these lined up in the proper holes, as you can see. There we go. Got that little snap in there. And it does stick out. Okay, so it's gonna sink in once we get that those screws in there. So let's go ahead and put, oh my gosh, look at already. The contrast, it's gonna look awesome. The original, what do they call this? Aluminum. 
they expanded and they call it in the buff. So just walking around with nothing on, it's pretty sweet. I'm excited for these. So we'll get these on real quick. There we go. We'll take a peek at what it is. We're gonna pop the pivot off the other side so we can flip the other scale on and carry this thing tomorrow. This is gonna be sweet. But okay, I'm gonna show you just one side what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, buddy. What do you think? I mean, is that where it's at? I think so. So let's finish the other side of it. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Using this little tool, we gotta be careful. Flat side of your pivot is actually up here. Let's get a little focus on that. But it's on the top side up here. The flat side of your pivot, I don't know if you can see it in there. There you go. So we gotta do a little bit with it. I'm not sure the focus on this video is being fun, but we're already into it, so we're gonna keep rolling. But if you're using metal, on metal, just gotta be careful. So we'll pop that out real quick. We're just gonna go and put that in there. And I don't think it'll fit the, the big one. There we go. So it fits the big one. So we'll take the pocket clip off first. You got these two little screws in there. The focus, there we go. Two little screws in there. And we'll keep going with it. Pocket clip. It's gonna look so good, you guys. I'm very excited. So let's get that clip out, that clip screw. Now this other one's kind of tucked back in here. Let me redo the focus so you can see, kind of go a little bit of an angle. So we'll do that again. We'll go at a little bit of an angle like this. I'm trying to do it on camera so you guys can see a little bit. So you gotta get that other screw out of there. You don't wanna go too crazy, but just enough to get it out. And then boom, pocket clips out. So let's get these three scale screws off. And then we will put this other side on real quick. Oops, shout out to the lanyard fans. Keeping it real. There's no lanyard hole on the new scales though. I'm not sad about it, I'm not sad about it. You know me, I'm not, I'm not normally a lanyard fan, so lanyard fans, my apologies. But you can order this left-sided also. So if you wanna carry it left-handed, you can order it that way. So they'll come with the pocket clip on the other side. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. Look at that. So that all goes together. Let's start putting some body screws on. We're back on. They're no, they don't use the magnets. So we'll get that one in and then let's do the one at the top here. Oops. Well, you always have a little parts mat. So when they bounce, they only bounce a few times. They stay in front of you. Keeps them off the carpet, which is nice. <laughs> this is looking so awesome with the black hardware. I'm glad I chose the black one. Black blade, black hardware. This looks great. So here you go. We're gonna take a peek at these. We're gonna put the pivot back in. So what did we say? Our flat spot was near the top of the blade you can see that on your tool there so we'll go ahead pull back the spring see if we can get it on the first try let's try to line it up a little better there we go now one thing you might have to do is you might have to loosen up those scale screws so we'll try that in just a second if we can't get the pivot in. Try to do it behind the camera, but we got the pivot in. Give it the final little push, look at that. Okay, let's get the top part of the pivot secured. Again, shout out to Hogue for the T8s all around. Just makes it simple, you don't have to switch back and forth, they're a good size screw head. I tighten mine all the way down. I take a peek, look at the centering. Centering looks pretty good. A smidge on the other side but let's get the let's get the pocket clip back in so we'll line this one up here we got our one screw there let's 
try to get that started. Get that started a little bit. I'm not gonna do it all the way because I wanna get that second one in at the same time. There we go. Oh yeah, and then we'll tighten that top one up. That little bit of an angle. It's the only thing they can improve on is cut that out a little bit more so you get a little more bite to it, but I understand. I understand. All right, so I think these are all tight. I'm gonna double check them. Double check everything. Oh, I already see one thing I really like. They put some extra jimping on the bottom of these scales. So I have the, the pivot on. Now it's down all the way. Oh my gosh, the pivot's down all the way. And this thing is drop shutty. Okay, what do you think? I am digging this one. Now they put jimping on the bottom here. So it makes it nice and grippy. It's not moving in the hands. And then all this milling on the aluminum. Awesome, awesome. Original goat scales. Let's wipe that off. Wipe the little oil that we got off on the blade so it looks nice and pretty. That beautiful, beautiful Magna Cut. Whoa. All right, that contrast is perfect with these. Now, like I said, this is the expanded aluminum in the buff on the Hogue Deca version two. These scales are only $60. $60, they're aluminum, but you can get the ones that are Cerakoted. I like the double milled cut ones. Oh my gosh, those are looking amazing. So you can see the difference, but let's take a look at the weight. Remember we had 2.09 on the lightweight Deca with the FDE scales. So let's put those off to the side there. What do we have with the original goat? 2.8. So we added like seven or 0 0.71 of an ounce. 0 0.71. That's pretty incredible. I think we're good to go. Anyways, you guys, check them out. I got a link down in the description below. The original goat scales for the Hogue Deca version 2. Now they also have scales for the 8020.5 some Spyderco models. This is where it's at. I love these scales. Just makes it feel like a totally different knife and it's a lot grippier. Pretty incredible. All right, you guys, have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Most importantly, take care.